So guys, how are you doing today? We're going to go to the business with swag class number two. We're going to talk about some business around the world. And today, we're going to focus on the construction industry in Texas. Well, uh, I have prepared something in here. It's kind of confusing right now, but it's going to be really clear at the end of this uh, video class. Well, let me uh, just grab my marker here because it's going to help me out. Well, basically what we're going to talk about here is something that's going on in Texas right now. Well, the construction, in, the construction industry in Texas actually is really huge. It's a huge market. That means that if it's a huge market, that means it might attract a lot of people. A lot of people may want to work in that market and a lot of money is involved. And since we're talking about business, I know you want to have some money. And it's really important. Actually, it's going to be uh, we're, the money that we're going to be talking about here. Probably you don't even know how much that is. It's fifty-four billion dollars a year, which is crazy money. Probably you have never seen that in your life, and maybe we will never see that. But we're going to work so hard to have enough for for a good life. You know, like you want to have quality and all that. And look at this. This construction industry in Texas, since it's a huge market. And it involves a lot of money, and a lot of people want to be part of that. One out of 13 employees in Texas are in, I mean, actually, one out of 13 is in construction right now. Well, it's a huge number for, for a state like Texas, which is a big state. Well, there are some problems. Unfortunately, there are some problems because, as you know, the United States until today suffer with immigration, which is illegal immigration. People from other countries, they go to the United States because they still think that in the United States they will have better conditions, better financial conditions, better lives and all that. And this illegal immigration has pushed the wages down. And that's a really sad topic because most of these employees they usually are undocumented. Actually, approximately 50% of the personnel of the staff, the workers, they are undocumented. That means they are illegal. They don't have paper. They don't have, when I say paper, I mean document. They, they don't have documents, so they cannot have a legal job, or they are not hired in any company. They're just contracted. And this causes some problems because I know that I've been to Texas three times and I know people in Texas, they're really nice, they're really honest and all that, but not everybody is like that. It happens here in Brazil, it happens in any other places, and it happens in Texas as well, unfortunately. Many people in Texas uh, who are undocumented, they have suffered because some things that happen at work, for example, some accidents and wage fraud they have become very common problems because since they do not have documents so what the workers do is like they do their jobs but their employee the, the employer actually the potential employer they do not pay as much as they deserve or as much they they should be paid for that kind of work in construction what I mean minimum wage in Texas is something about eight dollars an hour but sometimes these people walk out go back home with their pockets full of nothing, which is terrible. Sometimes five dollars an hour, four or four dollars an hour, and sometimes they just go home with no money. And one of the biggest problems is that they don't go talk to the authorities because they're really afraid of talking to the authorities because they're illegal. They're like, well, if I'm going to the authorities, I'm going to be in jail right now because I don't have documents and I'm not legal in this country so it's better for me not to go talk to to the authorities so it's a kind of modern slavery it's just like well they're gonna work in my company and I know that you don't have documents so I'm not gonna pay you and then you're gonna be really mad because you have worked a lot and you deserve to have that wage that salary but you're not gonna have it just because I don't want to pay you. Go talk to the authorities. And then you cannot go talk to the authorities because you're illegal. Okay, I know it's not legal to be illegal. And it's not nice to be illegal. And, but sometimes it's just like they're looking for better conditions. For example, some of these workers, they are from 
uh, countries, Hispanic countries, and they usually live in California and New York because it's like big uh, states and, and cities, and they usually go to these places. But, you know, the quality of life in these places are not very good sometimes. So, when they have these opportunities of going down to Texas, and they're going to leave, they're going to live in a five-bedroom, 3,000-square-foot house, they prefer going there. And they're going to pay $160,000, which is very good, huh? But yes, but unfortunately, this is not what happened. Their condition is not very good, and sometimes they, uh, they end up not having good quality, and sometimes they don't even have money to go back to their motherlands, uh, to their countries and all that. So, important things here today. This words, industry. When I'm talking about industry, I'm not talking about a certain place like the factory, the industry. I'm talking about the whole business, the whole market. Construction industry, I'm talking about the whole construction industry, the whole construction market around Texas in this case. This word here is very important, which is huge. When I say something is a huge market, I mean it's a very big market. Very important word. This word here is very important as well, employee. If you work at a company, you are an employee. You are a person who work for a company or for a person. You are an employee. Somebody has employed you. Give, somebody has given you a job. Uh, pretty good. This is a very important word, which is contractors. The difference between being contracted and being hired is that if you're hired, you work in a company, but you have all this paper signed and you have the paperwork, everything is correctly, and you are part of the company that you're working in. So if you're working in this company right now, like even though I work in this company, but I belong to another company, that means I got contracted. I didn't get hired in this company. Okay, pretty good. And since you're talking about taxes, uh, not the state taxes. I'm talking about taxes. The taxes are those fees that you have to pay according to what you have, according to the money you have, and all that. So we're going to go straight to that vocabulary. So this is a payroll taxes. Repeat, guys. Payroll taxes. Income taxes. The income taxes. Wage. When you say wage. Minimum wage, minimum wage, salary, salary, low income, low income, high income, and bank roll, bank roll. So these words are very important. Payroll taxes and income taxes, they are very similar. It's based on the money you make or the company make, and then you're going to pay a tax over that money that you make. Or, like I have, I have a salary or a wage because I work here. I'm a teacher. That means I make some money off of these classes, and this is my wage. So we have a minimum wage, and this minimum wage here in Brazil is 678 uh, reais a month, which is like... $350 a month, it's not a lot of money, but a lot of people live in these conditions, which is not a very good condition, by the way. So wage and salary, they mean the same. A minimum wage is the minimum salary that you can have as a worker here in Brazil or in any other countries. Payroll taxes, income taxes, are taxes that you have to pay according to the salary you have. Everybody has to pay. And believe me, the government comes for the regular people first. Low income is when you have a very low salary. So you say, well, I have a low income. That means I don't have a lot of money. I don't make a lot of money. High income is the opposite of that. As a teacher, do you think I have a low income or a high income? Exactly. Uh, and the bank roll is the role that you have in your bank. When you have the bank roll, you can see how much money you have in the bank. You can usually say that I am in the black. 
or you are in the red. That means that if your bankroll is in the black, it's pretty good. You have money. But if your bankroll is in the red, I'm sorry, you should be working much more to make some more money. So this is BWS class 2, business with swag, right here, right now. Holla.